In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry and the bond angles for Cl2O. This is dichlorine monoxide. So we start with our Lewis structure here. We're looking at the central atom, the oxygen here. We can see that there are two single bonds to chlorine atoms, and then we have two lone pairs. So we have overall one, two, three, four different things. That's our steric number. And we have two lone pairs. That puts us over here. If we go over, this is a bent molecular geometry, and the bond angles are about 109.5. We could also use the AXE notation. A, that's the central atom, the oxygen. X, the number of atoms bonded to it. We have those one, two chlorine atoms. And E, the number of lone pairs. We have one, two. So AX2E2, that would give us a bent molecular geometry as well. Either way works. Let's look at this in three dimensions to really understand what's going on here. So the purple, that's the central oxygen atom, and we have those two chlorine atoms bonded with single bonds. So they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. But then we have the two lone pairs. We add one, and it forces everything down. We add one more, and it goes up there, and it continues to force down these chlorine atoms. So that's what gives us this bent molecular geometry. If we look at the ideal bond angles, that'll be 109.5. This will actually be a little bit different, probably a little bit larger. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So to recap, we used the Lewis structure to determine the number of atoms and lone pairs. You can use this table based on steric number and lone pairs to see that Cl2O is a bent molecular geometry, or you can use the AXE notation. Note that we do have this bent molecular geometry, but the electron geometry, if we take into account these lone pairs, the space they occupy, the electron geometry would be tetrahedral for Cl2O. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.